we laid in bed, the yellow sheet appeared to me like fields from my childhood, through which I would walk with my grandmother early in the morning on the way to the grocery store. I still remember the weeds and thistles growing between them, close to the soil, and the bumpy sand road we straw. And sometimes when I look for a long time at one thing, it starts to appear beautiful to me. But maybe I'm wrong. And I doubt if anything nice could be done out of a short footage taken on a lazy day, I'd rather show some action. For example, I like it when things move quickly, when there is some energy, when things are funny, not thought through, and I also like dressing up. For example, here I'm on the roof of my block dressed up as a mad woman. Or um, I like pretending to live in a communist holiday bungalow as a weird creature. But this is only for fun. So things can be done for fun or for some reason, but I don't know what they are and why I need to produce them. When I was small, like three years old or something, we went to visit my great-grandmother. She had thick legs and an ample dress. In the living room, there was a round table and perhaps a Persian carpet. I was scared of the great-grandmother when I was left alone with her. I felt totally awkward. I think I felt like hiding from her big legs, but I knew I shouldn't, that I'm a fearful idiot. And it was at her place that I saw a shower for the first time. I was surprised by this word and by the object itself. But I can't remember clearly. Maybe it was only the word that surprised me. Or maybe there was something strange about the bathroom. One night I danced and I listened only to my body. The next morning I woke up in a room which I didn't know. I only recognized the sounds of the seagulls. Winter time turned into summer, blocks into the sea. I drifted in a known bed, in an unknown space, but it felt very familiar. The light and the men I found in it. Were we friends for a long time? <laughs> 